Okay guys, welcome back to the Bench of Gilly here. So, today's gonna might be a little long one. Because today's what's in the box is a big one. No. Oh. Let's take a look. Yeah, see? She's a big bird, alright. This is Trumpeter's 132nd scale. SU27UB Flanker C by Trumpeter. As you can tell, it's a really big box. I can barely get the whole thing in the camera. There's the measurements if you guys want to take a look at what the size is. Here's the size of the box. Couple call outs there on how she should look. And so the box, sorry. 32nd, there's a the scale, the scale and the kit box number. Sorry, I'm trying my best to get everything here in the camera for use. Here's some information on what the flanker is. So if you want to pause that and read it, it's up to you. Sorry about the shakiness here. I'm not set up properly here for a camera. I'm just using my flexi arm here. And there's some finished photos of what it's supposed to look like. When I'm done, it probably won't look anything like that, but yeah. So. And there you go. That's what the box looks like. Let's open her up. If I can get this open, it's like wow. Oh, there we go. Got her. So, first glance, what do we got here? We got the instruction sheet. Looks like there's 24 steps because that's the back. Here's the front. So, well, not steps, but 24 pages. Let's see how many steps there is. Quite a bit, so 23 for sure. So, come back to that later. Let's see what's in the box. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sprues here and five different baggies. Oh, look at that, eh? We got a box of goodies here. Koi SU27 Flanker C. There's a little call out of what's supposed to be in this little box. And there's a picture there of what's in the box. A couple of screws, engine cells, canopies, air brake, a couple of tires. Again, we'll come back to, to that later. Take a look at that. Here is the nose cone and something else. It's pretty long anyways. Oh, we'll crack this puppy open just to see what's in there. Yep, the nose cone. Okay, come back to that later. See what else is in this big box. Yeah, again, apologize because I don't know how long this will be, but I'm doing this for your guys' benefit. There's the body. In other words, the fuselage. Comes with a see through package, nothing on the bottom, plain white. Lettering on the sides, both sides. Yeah, 
again we'll take a look at that later let's move all this around here is the bottom part of the planker yeah, same thing nothing on the bottom all that's there Whew, pretty big kit and here's the decals doesn't look like many so but again we'll take a look at all this stuff we'll crack it open that's what I do for you guys and some call outs for the missiles nothing on the back it's right there and another color call out sheet painting guide These are all Mr. Color and Acura's Hobby Color, so flip it over, there we go, look at that, eh? Isn't that pretty? I like that design. So, and that's the whole box. cut these bad boys open and we'll take a look at the decals hope everybody's doing fine today after the disappointing game there Super Bowl I don't watch it So here's the decals. Not sure what this is, but we'll take a look at that too while we're at it. Cut everything open. These are probably the missile. The missile ones. Let's see. Yep, these are the air-to-air -air missile decals right around the missiles and everything so taking a look at the decals are pretty okay they, they look okay they're a little little heavy but trumpeter decals are pretty good they go down nice and easy See here in the shine, as you can see the shine. Carrier films pretty good. Not too not too much. But yeah, you know, nothing on the back. Here's some more. Oh I like the way they did that one. Like that's you can actually cut that out and then just put the red around it. It's not a full carrier. Yep, hope you like that one. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's move along. We've got lots to do here, so I'll pack these guys up. Put them back in their baggie. Keep them fresh. Again, there's the missile callouts. We'll zoom you guys in for that. There you go. Now well, you can use the decals or they're big enough. You can actually paint them yourself and don't need the decals there. Again, nothing there. Call outs, Acura's Hobby Colors and Mr. Color. Another painting guide. We'll zoom you guys back out so you can get a bigger picture of this. So you see what I see. Hmm. 
This looks like a Chinese one, so yeah. I don't know, could be. And here's the Russian one. The Russian one. I'll zoom you into the cockpit area. Take a look at that. So you get decals for all these, so painting guides, uh, all these are decals. Same thing on there, that's decals. Cockpit looks pretty good, but we'll see when we get to the sprues. Alright, let's see me back up. Let's take a look at the plastic. First things first, let's open up the bottom fuselage here. That comes in a box. Taped up pretty good. So, like I said, you're going to see what I'm seeing, so you get the full experience here. Alrighty. Ooh, that's pretty big. Oh, I think we'll have to cut those off. They're actually twist ties, so that's pretty good. Right on trumpeter. Securing this baby down pretty good. So, I like that touch. That's pretty good. Twist ties are off. You got some nice little foam padding here. Cover everything except for this part, so yeah. Oh well. Yeah, there's the bottom fuselage. Come in this beautiful box. Alright, let's cut these pieces away and see what's underneath. Easy does it, easy does it. This is a nice one, so. So now this is going to be edited, so it's all going to be raw video of this Once I'm done, it's going to be posted And it's raw staked, no editing, no fancy footwork And there we go, here's the fuselage Measure this sucker without the nose so from there to there, that's about 22 inches. We still need the nose piece, so that's going to be a little longer, right? Eh? Look at the size of those engines. Wow. Five and a half inches. That's not counting on the cells on there, so. Yeah, that's a big bird. So, that's how she looks there. There's the copyright. Trumpeter, made in China. 32 scale. Doesn't say what year. Oh, yep. 2003. So, if you guys actually want to see that. Right there. I'm not lying to you. It's all in writing. So taking a quick, quick look at this, it's not very thick plastic, so a bit wobbly. There's the thickness, you guys can see it there. Anyway, turn this around. You got some nice panel lining here. Pretty good. You got some riveting, looks good. She might be a tail setter, look how closely the 
landing gears from the front to the back and then you got all this ass end so hopefully she sits right tricycle landing gear two in the back one in the front let's zoom you in here to some of the details there you go hope you guys can see that side of the engine there, let's get some better There's some more lighting on there I don't know if that helps There, that's much better. I can see it on camera now. Hopefully you guys can see it too. Yeah. It's not very shallow, so that's pretty good. It's going to take a nice wash. The riveting's there. That feels good too. Yeah, that's the bottom fuselage. We'll zoom you back out and we'll take a look at the top one. Same thing, comes in a nice big protected box. See through plastic. Shut this bad boy open. And yeah. again, comes in. And Twist ties, nice foam packaging around it so she don't get banged up too much. that off, cut that off, and voila. Oh, here's the fuselage, the top fuselage, pretty plain, nothing on the inside, a couple of giant screw holes. We'll flip that puppy over and oh, somebody shit on my damn thing. Anywho, she looks pretty good. We got a lot, of, a lot of nice riveting going on. Panel lines again. I see, like I said, they're pretty good. They're not shallow. Got a little bit of flashing here, so right there, not much. Break it off with your finger. But for a nice big kit like that, whew, look at that. It's gonna take three of my hands. And we'll zoom you in so you can take a better look at the panel line detail work. Look at that right there. You can see all that. That is nice. Look at that detail, eh? Like I said, somebody shit on it, as you can see right there. I don't know, we'll have to clean that off. We'll clean that up pretty good, don't worry. So, these two are going to sandwich together like that. You can tell the fit's pretty good. See the siding? Oh yeah, look at that. This is from the side top bottom fuselage she is looking good already that's where the gun's gonna go I'll probably have that open I'm pretty 
pretty sure I might leave that one open and when I build this so next time you see me this kid will be a video build so hopefully you guys stick around for that again okay, zoom you back out same thing just over 22 inches stuff off the counter make it easier for me to work. Oh, here's the top and bottom fuselage. She's a big bird. Can't wait to get her started. As you see these two go together. That's where that picture comes in of the screws so that'll be these guys right here. You got three of them so you got three holes. Which is pretty cool. So let's go to the box of goodies here. And zoom you in to see what's in there. So you got tires, nose tires, windscreen, canopy, air brakes, screws, three and four of them, exhaust nozzles, C6. What the hell is a C6? Anyways, photo etch, stainless steel, spring, shafts, and metal parts. So yeah, that's what you got. And here's a picture of what's supposedly in the box. Along with other goodies. Okay, I'll zoom you up back out and then we'll take a look what's in the box here. Oh, look at that, we got four different kind of nozzles, engine nacelles, some nice rubber tires, pop that sucker open. Oh, yeah, these. They got a nice tire tread on it, flat wall, no letterings, so... Same thing, we'll look at the small one here, it's got tire treading, pretty flat, no letterings. Here we got some metal shafts, screws, we all know what those look like, so, and some springs, so it looks like we're going to have some operating springs, I think. Here we got some metal parts for the... So that we're gonna have some movable parts so the spring might go in there and that goes in there together like that so uh, that's that soft metal pewter so easy to clean up that's pretty good you got some nice landing gear strong we'll put that back in the box you got some nice PE parts for the harnesses for the seats. Flip that over and we got some more PE parts, not sure. A couple of brackets and stuff, so yeah, that's pretty good there. We'll lay that flat down again. And you know, a nice clear canopy piece. We'll pull those out, take a look at them. There's the air brake. Take a look at the air brake. That's some goddamn injector molds. Those are going to be nasty to clean up. But she's pretty flat. I'm gonna have mine closed, so it won't matter to me. Shiny, so you're gonna have to really wash this puppies. 
And some clear parts. Let's look at these clear parts. I'm going to keep the plastic because I want to put them back in the plastic. I'll zoom you into that one so you guys can take a look at that. Oh, I'll grab my fancy po pointer. And see, here's the instrument panel, the eye bubble. There's another one right there, a couple of flashing lights. She's pretty clear. Yep. Hope you guys can see that. That's some nice clear pieces there. Nice little bubble. See the bubble? Ooh, that's a pretty good clear pieces. I like the instrument panel there. That's a nice one. Now let's take a look at the uh, canopy here. This is going to make or break the kit right here if this is awful. Well, it doesn't matter to me, I don't know. I'll still build it. Alright, here you go, here's the canopy. There's my finger there. She's pretty clear. Nice big seam going right down the middle. There you guys see that seam going right down the middle. So. We all know how to fix that. But she's pretty prominent, like you can really feel it. But other than that, she's pretty good. Clear plastic, nice and clear. I like it. Let me stick that back in the bag here so I don't scratch it up. There's no, another clear part that goes to the front of the canopy but let's take a look at these engine cells there you go take a look at that nice detail on the outside not much going on the inside of course so pretty plain other than that she looks good. This is going to take a nice wash. Look at all that panel lining in there. You got some nice ribbed details. Turkey feathers look good. Everything's nice. Like this is going to take a nice wash and panel lining so that's good there. Take a look at the other pieces. There we got some detail going on in there, so not much, you just slight I'm guessing they'll go on like that. And here's some more. These are the afterburners there and here's the closed and here's the open I'm guessing. You got detail in here, so that might go in here somehow. Anywho, but yeah, so you got some nice detailing going on in here. I'm kind of thinking these are the insides of it. Maybe here. It looks like those go together pretty good. But we'll see when we get to the building. So you got two different parts of those. And that's the first box of goodies. Alright. This is actually going pretty good. Now, here's the next one. I'll zoom you guys back out so we got a better pick of that. This one should be the air intakes. Left and right. And the nose cone. 
SU, SU to some flanker, nothing on the bottom, and some lettering on the side. They're both the same. This box measures 19 inches. So I'll just dump all that out. Here we got some nice air intakes, so I'll just open one because they're both going to be the same. And this one comes, also comes in a nice sponge. Okay, there's a nice inch air intakes. They measure about seven inches. No detail going on the inside, as you can tell. Look at the warping we got already, so that won't matter though. Once we glue it down, she'll look pretty good. Here, let me zoom you in to get some better details of this. This might need a little bit of scribing because they're very shallow. You can't even feel them. See them. But we'll see. Here we got some nice riveting going right around the intake. Look at all that. Like that's going to take a nice panel lining wash. Pretty, eh? So that's one of the intakes. We'll squeeze that puppy back in there. Put it back the way I found it, right? that puppy back in so you get two of those and look at the nose canopy nose just like that it looks like a giant finger right <laughs> anywho so we got a nice seam going right down the middle here that's on both sides, so we're going to have to do some cleaning there. I don't know if this thing's going to need some counterweight, but there's a lot of room for sticking some weight in there. Oh, look at that. We got another seam right here going down the bottom part, so it's probably... But nothing going down the middle, top, middle part, so just the two sides and the bottom here we'll have to clean up. Other than that, she looks pretty good. Zoom you in. This nose piece is about a tip, four and a half, almost five. Two inches wide. Not much detail, just a little bit on the front here, so. Here's that seam I was telling you about, cuts right across, right to the front, nothing on the top, a little bit of detail here, and again underneath the bottom, you got a nice seam going right there so you have to clean that up. Other than that, that's the nose piece. Let me back out, I'll put that back in the baggie. So that was a box of goodies. Your air intake, your nose cone. And now we're into the plastic. The plastic sprue trees. 
So I'm no bird expert. I don't know much about this jet. I'm not claiming I know anything about it. But anyways, there's two pieces in there. They look almost kind of mirrored, but not quite. We'll take a look at one though. Got a big ass piece missing here, so they must use this for another flanker. Yeah, there we go, there's the pieces. Not sure what these are, there's some part of the seat. Again, I'm no expert, I don't know what this these parts are for the jet itself. This must be inside landing landing gear bay door bay bay center something. A couple of missile pods or pylons I should say. Oh look there's the instrument panel. That's the flat plastic part. I'm gonna go with uh, clear plastic. I don't know, we got some nice detailing going on here. Ribbiting, we got some plumbing. Other than that, not much going on. Sides of the seats, so we'll zoom you in for that. There you go. Look at that, eh? Okay. A little bit. A little bit of detail going on there. Seats. There's the other instrument panel. Anywho, that's part. That's Brew D. Sorry. I'm going to zoom you back out instead of in. Sprue D there. And here's Sprue C. Uh, you also get some plastic landing gears. There's a little nose cone, not sure for what. Yep, more landing gear right there, that's the front. So it's up to you if you want to use the plastic or the metal part. You got an option, so here's plastic landing gear. Same thing, probably go together same way, but yeah, it's up to you. Not sure what the hell that is, but looks pretty cool. Flip it over, there's some, I, I'm guessing that's the front wheel guard. That's what it looks like to me, the front wheel guard. Other than that, everything looks good. You can put the landing gear pieces all together. Not sure what this is, but they got some detail on the inside. Again, I'm guessing these are landing gear bays. There's some. There's a door, landing gear bay door. Yeah, and that's Brucey. Nice, nice plastic. Here we got some wingy parts. Again you guys, sorry about uh, how long this is going to take, but it is what it is, right? So here we got some vertical stabilizers. These are the ones that go straight up. Come in a few pieces, so you put two together, these ones there. Oh look, you got another instrument panel. We'll zoom into that later. Got two of them. So this is a two-seater, remember, right? 
There's a two seater jet, so you get two instrument panels. But I only got one clear part with it. That's weird. So why they give me two of these but only one clear part? Oh well. Anywho, let's zoom in on these vertical stabilizers so you guys see what I see. Sorry for the shakiness I said. Like I said earlier, I'm just on my flexi arm. Yeah, look at all that riveting going on, eh? That's going to look good. That's going to take a nice wash. And I'll zoom you over to the one of the instrument panels. Again, this is a two-seater. There's one. And there's two. I know it's upside down, so I'm just trying to get better viewing for you guys. Sorry. Well, let's zoom me back out to get a better picture shot. We'll turn that over. Not much going on the inside. Pretty flat. Like all these are going to sandwich together to make the wings. The vertical stabilizers. And that was Sprue J. Okay, next one. It is Sprue E. There's the gun. Not sure what gun it is, so it's a Russian secret, I guess. Oh, look at that rivet. Look at that. See through. You can see through right that. Oh, we got some wheel hubs here. Four pieces of those. A two-piece gun. Got some more riveting. Then we got the uh, horizontal stabilizers for the ones that go on the side. Not sure what this is, but got some pedo tubes here. Other than that, yeah. Here, I'll zoom you in here. I want you guys to see this. There you go. See that? That's going to take a freaking wash, eh? Look at all this riveting there. Awesome. And then see through. Venting. Look at that venting system right there. All that see through. There's the gun. More venting. Yeah. Other than that, not much more to show you on this one, but what you guys seen earlier. And that was Sprue E. I'm chomping up. And let's crack this one open. These are the missiles. So you got two of them. They're mirrored, so let's, we only need one to look at. Let's measure these things. Like, look at that. Look at that. Like, look. Holy crap, that's long. Just over five inches long, those missiles. So, there you go. It's going to look good. It's uh, freaking longer than my finger. I'm not saying I got long fingers, but look at that. So you got two of those. That's Sprue G. Thank God, not many missiles going on in there. And... There's a couple sprues in this one. Let's 
some more ailerons and yep. Okay, we got a couple of mirrored sprues here, so yep. Let's see, there's two of these, so not much going on here, just I think these are the vertical stabilizers. This is gonna be actually this is the wing. Ha! Huh. This is the wing. And C comes with the flaps, ailerons. Uh, looks like everything's movable. You got little slots there. Looks like everything's going to be movable, so that's going to be a, that's a bonus. Yep, yep. You got two, of these, four of those, so two wings. They sandwich all together. And it's all the same. So four of those. And. Last piece, last baggie. There it is. The cockpit tub. And something spine there, anyways. There's a spine there. Again, more venting here going on. Cockpit tub plane, looks like it goes together in multiple pieces. Uh, injector seats, oh look at the detail on that seat here, let, let me zoom you in, I'll show you guys that. See, look at the detail on that one. And right here, this is part of the cockpit, side walls of it. There's that awesome venting again, I was telling you. Yep, pretty good. There's the back headrest right there, as you can see that. Look at the detailing on there. Almost looks... Yeah. Look at the size of those pedos. <laughs> yeah, there we go. Not much on the bottom. I'll zoom you guys back up. Not, not much on the back, so you know that's you won't see any of that anyway, so there you go. That's a look at all the sprues. Awesome. Then here's the instructions. The instruction book. So again, you got uh, read before assembly. The Sukhoi SU27 UB flanker C. Chinese writing. Study and instructions. I'll be doing that and a bunch of. Oh look, you do get a counterweight, so that's going to tell you. Anyways, here's the sprue count out. Two pages. Pause and zoom that in if you want. There you go. Decals. Intakes, nozzles, missiles, and the wings, more wings, fuselage, top and bottom, tires. All right, page two and three. So you start up building the cockpit as usual. Then you're building the gun housing and gun. As we move along to the adding the gun and that and the spine for the air brake. Looks like it could be posed open and closed. 
That's a bonus. Here's the nose gear. Then we start on the wings. That's not bad, eh? Again, I uh, watched uh, another video they were saying on page six that part two are mixed up. So one and two is mixed up. So this will be two and this will be one. So we'll make sure of that. We'll scratch that out and we'll put one. Scratch that out and we'll put two. And light. And we'll just put fix on there. Highlight that so we know. We know there's a problem there. That's why you always keep a highlighter when around. So same thing here. These are all mixed up. From what I hear. And there's that in the wings. Cockpit tub, you get four screws, you gotta screw that puppy in, so that's pretty cool. Yep. Next page. Glue on the top and bottom halves together. Three screws there, that goes on the top. Hopefully those are hidden. There's that in the nose piece. Instrument panels. on. Next page, you got two pages here just for armaments. Let's skip that. Here we're working on the air intakes. Sandwiching the two side vertical, well, horizontal stabilizers. There on page 13, they want you to add your armaments which we probably won't do till later. I might get some rare earth magnets and have those put on there like that. So we'll see. That way instead of poking a bunch of holes my I'll just put the magnets in there and then pop them off and on whenever I want. Again, add an armaments under the fuselage fins. sure what's going on there but yeah okay here you're working on the the legs again you can use the plastic or you can use the the metal parts that come with it doing the window the windows the wheels adding little fiddly bits to it that'll be in the end of course as we're ready to paint, fixing up the the legs, the wheels, ejection seats, adding your wheel arms, and there's your nozzle configurations. So all those pieces I showed you, they all go together somehow, like that. And yep, canopy and your PE part six. So yep, mirrors. Oh, there's a two-piece air brake, so that's good. That'll hide those injector pin marks on there. There's your little nose cone. That's for the butt hole. Cover up the butt. And adding your engine spouts there. Your horizontal stabilizers go on the back. Those will be done too towards the end. So you got some assembly building going on and then adding a bunch of stuff later. Basic plane jet building. And like I said, there's the vent system for the gun. I don't know if I'll leave that open. I might leave that open. 
just have it off on the side here and showing off the gun. Who knows? We'll see. And that's it. Put them together. 24 pages. 23 steps. Simple basic build. Again, that was the Sequoia by Trumpeter. And not only did do I got that, I got some awesome decals. This is the digital Ukrainian Air Force masking for the SU-27UBM. So this is what I'll be getting in my decals for my digital camel sheen. This will go along with my Ukrainian conflict build. As you can see, Ukrainian. Yeah. You get four big decal. Well, not decals, but stickers for your You can see that. So all these look like that. So right on. I hope you guys like that. And next time you guys see them, see this video, it will be building it. Sorry about the long one again. And hope you guys enjoy this one. Catch you later.